Hey, what's going on YouTube? Chad Christian here. Today I want to bring you a review of the Alienware 15 R3. This is the brand new model with a KB Lake processor and it also has a 1070 GTX NVIDIA graphics card in it. We're going to go over all the specs, all the hardware, and also do some gaming to see if you guys like the gaming performance on it. So stay tuned. Let's get into it. Let's quickly go over the hardware specs. With this one, I have the Core i7-7700HQ, the 16 gigs of RAM, a one terabyte mechanical drive, a 256 gig SSD, and this has the NVIDIA 1070 GTX graphics processor. Let's go ahead and start by going over the ports. On the right hand side have one USB 3.0 port and you can see the beautiful LED lighting. On the back is an AC adapter, the external GPU interface, a USB-C which is Thunderbolt 3, a full size HDMI, a mini display port, and an Ethernet port. Over on the left hand side you've got your headphone and microphone input jack there another USB 3.0 and one more USB-C with Thunderbolt 3. Next let's go over this keyboard and trackpad. You can see here that the trackpad has an RGB lighting system and you can customize that. The keyboard has zone lighting and you can change the different zones to accommodate different color situations that you want for gaming or you know just visual effects you can see it's blinking there. So the keyboard has really good travel. It's 2.2 millimeters of travel. It doesn't bottom out really hard. Um, it's, it's a good feel to it. The left and right mouse buttons are clicky. I like the way that those feel. And as far as the trackpad's concerned, this is one of the better Windows 10 trackpads. It's large enough and it feels like a glass finish and it doesn't miss any keystrokes. So this is uh, one of the best keyboards I've ever used. Now this has an IR camera with Toby Eye Tracking, which also includes the Windows Hello login with just using your facial recognition. Now let's go over the GPU benchmarks and temperatures. So I ran a 20 minute benchmark on the CPU, maxing it out, and you can see that it got up to 76 degrees. So TimeSpy 3D Mark scored this at a 5162. Unigen Heaven scored this at a 2138. Now let's talk about storage and expandability. You can see there's just seven screws on the back panel. Go ahead and remove those. And once you remove the panel, you can see exposed is you've got two sticks of RAM that are upgradable to 32 gigs. Plus you've got four bays for your hard drives. So plenty of expandability there. I'll leave a link down below on how you can upgrade your hard drive to increase performance. Now as far as the battery goes, I have the optional 99 watt battery and I get around 4 hours or 2 hours of gameplay. The gaming performance with a 1070 GTX, let me go ahead and show you a couple of games and what they look like. Now time for my conclusion and should you guys purchase this. I think if you're looking for a hardcore gaming system and you don't mind the 7 pounds of weight that this carries with a 1070 graphics processor, the best keyboard in its class, this is a definite thumbs up. I love this system. This review was fun to do. I hope you guys appreciated this video. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video.